Yeah. Very um, healthy breakfast, and I'm sure I'm going to start eating chocolates in about half an hour, but it's quarter past nine, and we've got to start filming at quarter to ten. So I'm going to grab this now, and then... Um, and then get to doing Ainsley's makeup. I've already done one person, Andy's makeup, who's the um, drink expert. It took two seconds, so I'll do at Ainsley when he's finished his breakfast, and then off we go. So there we go. <laughs> get a job in TV, they said. It will be glamorous, they said. <laughs> Who's next? So, basically, just got back in from the first day on my new, no, that's a lie, it's the first day of the indoor filming of the series I was working on that you will have seen in this last vlog, the cooking series. <clears throat> and I was going to start vlogging today for a new week. I don't know why I call it a vlog I mean, I don't know what it is, but it does make you sound like a bit, a bit silly, doesn't it? I was going to start making memorable videos for me. Um, for, oh God, I'm not explaining this very well. Anyway, this week was going to, today was going to be the start of a new week of filming. But I started editing last night, last week, so this one you'll be watching now. And, hang on. And I, I saw I just didn't have an ending, so I was like basically, um, by the way, on one eye, I'm using my Lash Serum by UK La, Lash, and the other eye, I'm using Lash Serum by Swede in a tr terrifically um, entertaining race of eyelash growth. I'll be honest, they both look like they do, they're both working. I think UK Lash might pip it in the sense that it's wetter and I think there's more in the pot. Is there physically more in the pot? Does it say how much is it? 10 fluid ounces on... So there's 10... Both 10. That's unusual. This one feels like it's going longer. Anyway, so I put one on each eye each night. <laughs> anyway, so I was editing it and I realised I sort of just... Uh, there is absolutely no... Um, you know, outro with me saying goodbye. I was like, oh, it is what it is, you know, I'll just end the video. And then I was sitting here taking off my makeup with my hair up in pin curls because I had it in 1940s today. I'm gonna try and save it for tomorrow. And why didn't I just do a little outro? Except I'm in like cozy clothes. I couldn't, why didn't I just do it while I still had my makeup and hair on so I actually looked half normal. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine, but the guilt brought me on here, so you're basically now doing my um, evening routine with me while I look like an absolute crazy person. Can you imagine if someone I used to date or was thinking of dating so actually watched this? Or hopefully then the whole reason that I'm doing these is so my children will watch them or grandchildren one day. They'll be watching this game. What an absolute loon. Anyway, this is... um. Castor oil. Castor oil in their lashes and on the brows. Done the serums, done the vitamin C, done the night cream, done the eye cream. My golly, I think I've done it all. And you've been with me for the whole adventure. Aren't we all blessed? So anyway, I'm going to get back on the computer, going to do some work. I've just got back. It's really early. Um, it's ten past seven and I'm home already. We actually finished filming at like half five. It was that we started at eight. It was just like the shortest day ever, I don't know, <laughs> it's nuts. So I've got the whole evening and you kind of feel guilty, like I could have gone out if I knew I was going to finish this early, but because it's sort of been getting up at 6am every day, I'm trying to get into this really good routine you'll see from the last video. So I better stick with it, which is really boring, but anyway. Good night everybody, goodbye, thank you for watching. Um, I've noticed a few people coming across on here from my little shorts videos on YouTube, so if you are across from there, thank you. And please bloody subscribe. I need everything I can get. Morning and welcome back to another week. Oh, wow. Well, what I did last night, because my hair was curly yesterday, I pinned it on top of my head. So 
to try and um why are we getting these lines why are we getting these lines what's that about <sighs> welcome back to another week i don't know why i've got these lines i don't know why they're there and i don't know what to i i just don't know what to do to to uh, stop them from being annoying for you because they're annoying for me so I'm sure they're annoying for you that's so strange do you know what I thought it was whenever I filmed in this corner which is where I get ready it's my dressing table and my Hollywood mirror <clears throat> I thought it was because on this side I've got a bank of curtains that run down all all the way down one wall of my home or my bedroom and um, they're pleated and I thought oh maybe it's those pleats kind of Doing, looking like stripes on the camera and therefore that's what's giving the um, giving the camera the ripples which is like why you know why you can't wear stripes on TV because it makes the camera go funny so I've turned you this way which isn't such a nice view but it you know I thought that would stop happening <laughs> I've turned on it's still happening so I have no answer for you my friends I have no answer and I have to, there's nowhere else we can be. We have to be here together, we have to get through it together and I think we're going to do that fine. I think that's probably the least of my problems and the least of your problems too. My problem is that it's 6.30. <laughs> I actually woke up ages ago. Uh, I woke up a few times in the night. I One thing that's because I had a glass of wine and I think that's a really bad thing to do before you go to sleep. And I also... I just oh, I'm really worried about a job I've got on Saturday which is with the BBC for the Remembrance Day Parade and service at the um, Royal Albert Hall I'm worried that we've not um, it, I've not been able to unfortunately um, have enough a big enough makeup team so I'm worried about how that's gonna go um, we've got an hour to get um, 10 people ready between three people, hair and makeup. Um, I think even if you're watching and you have no clue about how it works in makeup and in the industry, how long it takes, I think you would agree maybe that an hour isn't long enough to get 10 people done between three people. So it's, that's, that's basically three and a bit people per person in an hour. It's, it, and for something, you know, it's not just like a bit of powder, it's for a, a dance, a really prestigious, prostit, really important event um, for the BBC and for England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. And, um, and the scene that these people are in is a dance scene. And, you know, you know, it's not, it's fine because, you know, not, you know, maybe... That bit's like it's definitely not the more, most important bit. The readings from ex from veterans and you know the stories of people who've take of who've lost their lives at war, fighting for their country. That's the most important bit. But in terms of what I'm hired to do, it's you know I feel like I won't be doing a good job. But anyway, so I was thinking about that and I was thinking about something else. What was it? Um, I don't know. Just thinking about things I've got to do this week, I guess. Oh, that's it. I was thinking about um, an agency that possibly was going to take me on um, for social media, to represent me on social media, because I had um, a few followers, and not many, but not many, not enough to change the world, but... And they sent a contract, and it all seemed really positive, and then I sent them over my figures, and they said, oh, let's speak in a couple of months, and I replied and said, does that mean... I don't know what that, you know, I didn't know whether that meant the contract isn't going ahead and they weren't as keen to take me, but they'll talk in a couple of months. I, I was just um, a bit confused. Oh, I found one of my magnesium tablets in my little travel jewellery box. How strange. Uh, that's it. That's the end of the story. I was thinking about that and I was just upset about that and going over it. So very, very uninteresting to all of you guys. Listen, it's a new week. You're back with me for... Um, a shoot day with on a cooking show that I'm working on so we're going we're up early because we've got to be early to a studios in 
kind of between Acton and Shepherd's Bush in, in West London and it will take me about an hour and a half, maybe a bit more to get there. So I need to get a wriggle on. I don't know why I'm faffing the jewellery, but I'm not leaving this with that jewellery. I'm not completely handful. Um, and I appreciate I haven't got any makeup on yet, but I'm not really going to do any. I'm just going to do a bit of my glow mist, which I love from Siete. I always want to look dewy, baby. And then pop on a liberal scraping of the old flawless filter. She will never be, she will never be parted with. And get that blobbed in. And then going to pop on my, another Ciate product, product Extraordinary Foundation, which I also really love. So, Although I did like to say I was in the place where I wasn't really wearing much foundation. But I'm just putting a tiny bit on a sponge and just kind of putting that under my eye area and around my nose and chin, which is the most bits in it. So I feel like I'm not, you know, it's not a full face, but it's... I probably wouldn't go in with concealer after this now, so I feel like that's not too bad. But yeah, I'm a bit spotty. Like little... No, I don't really get spots, they're more like these little bumps under the skin, which I'm sure I've made to you about before, but I really struggle with them. They have like nothing inside them, they're lumps. They're not like infected or red, although that, that one there is. Um, they're all over my forehead mainly, and you don't even need to cover them because there's no colour, but they're bumps, so they're obviously really visible, which is really annoying. I'm sorry this is so liney, I think I should probably go because you guys don't need to see... 10 minute intro of uh, lines but anyway hopefully we can get a coffee at the bus stop because luckily my bus stop is just outside my house and also very luckily a coffee shop's just opened there called Tags and um, that's really brilliant so can I make a coffee at home yeah yeah I could does it taste like when they do it no why why they put like a little teeny tiny piece of crack in it do you think just like enough to get us addicted but not like cause serious health problems <sighs> although I don't know if I should have a coffee because my heart keeps doing funny things and I can only assume that would be a case of mild anxiety oh <laughs> hello this is actually sold as a Sensei Silky Bronze Natural Veil Compact so it's like a powder foundation Look at the technique the makeup artist does. Oh, she's like, oh, it's like caveman style. Um, and it was like a, it was like an odd colour to ever use on anyone, on a job. Like, maybe I would. It was just a bit too orangey brown. So I was like, oh, maybe that could be a bronzer, which is how you and I have got to the place we're at. Finally, well, so I'm gonna do my eyes and the rest of my face on the bus. But finally. Obsessed with my Avon perfume. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd ever be obsessed with Avon perfume? Never ever tried an Avon perfume before, I don't think, in my memory. Oh my god, it's so nice. It's like deep and musky and vanilla-y and wintery and sexy, far away, beyond the moon. Love it. So that's goodbye from me. Goodbye from my stomach and see you on the road. Morning. I'm here and um, oh, I nearly broke. this is lip liner and I nearly went to put it on my lips but I'm actually going to use it on my eye but that was just a force of habit. I want more of a ready shade on my eye so I'm going to smoke out my black liner with this who is this by oh it's a mac gosh you don't see silver max anymore vino and it yeah well it truly is the color of red red wine anyway um i'm here i'm just waiting for my talent to come in they're running late but the tra i mean i took so long to get here on the bus today honestly it must have been i reckon i was at I reckon I left my house 7.20 and I got here about 10 past 9. Absolutely crazy. <clears throat> so I reckon because it's like raining today, I think the traffic's particularly bad and that's probably why the talent's late. Let's put a bit up into this socket as well. Can you see what I'm doing? You probably can't. I'm trying to look in this mirror, which means I'm turned away from you. 
Sometimes I just draw a little pencil in the socket and then I can just get a nice stiff makeup brush like this one. And it means I can just buff quite a hard line in and it gives a fairly defined socket, but um, without losing too much of the shape if I want a really like over pronounced socket. Also lip balm, oh God, not lip balm, lip liner is so good for blending because obviously they're an oily base. They're so good for doing like a smoky line on your eyes. Obviously, because they are oily, do be aware that they might have a tendency to crease if you um, have a lid that maybe touches them a little bit, which mine will do if I actually relax my face properly. <clears throat> Let's put some more red. How can we get some more red? Have I got a red here? That, by the way, is the alcohol that I clean my brushes with. Oh, yes, I have got a really good red. This is Teddy Girl by Butter London. And it's got this great, can you see that? This wonderful um, sort of cranberry metallic shade. That I'm going to use that same stiff brush and really push that colour in just to the outer corner of my lids. Really get some depth of colour in there. I love the red in the winter. I absolutely love it, especially against the blue eye. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, <coughs> sorry, I didn't expect that. I'm really congested. <laughs> Let's expect that little hawk. All right, so just waiting for the talent. Do you want to look out the window? We'll set up as you can see. Let's get rid of that dirty brush. Get this looking a little bit neater. And then that's our view from the top of the studio. What a grey day. Give him Mary Poppins vibe. Do you know what? I don't know whether I press record on that. Did I press record? No. Don't All right, know. we'll have a little look. What have just happened? I pressed record and then turned yeah. it off again. And Brian. It was magical did... what we created. Yeah, it was honestly, we did, we did the whole special. makeup, we did the hair. Brian didn't have any You know one of those this. time lapse scenes? She'd done all that and everything mm. else. Hours of content there we just missed. I know. But is it on now? It's on, yeah. I've got the yeah. red yeah, the red light. And I'm there. very happy it's on because I get to tell you that not only is Vicky a very do you, do you ever mind or is it Victoria? Well it's normally sticky Vicky, but that's mainly in Ibiza. Saying nothing, but normally Sticky Vicky. Well, not only is she a great uh, makeup artist, and that's a word artist because they are, mm -hmm. um, she is a great person and a lovely person and very vibrant and full of personality. and I love it a bit. And I really am. I mean, how old am I naturally? No, well, it's in real life, Brian's 103. I know, so there you go. She's knocked off at least 30 five. years. Oh, you nearly said five, shut your gob, but um. Anyway, I'm having my coffee and Leaving I'm just about to do Ainsley Harriet's show, which is very exciting. Yeah. And the last time we worked together, that was on the one show. Mm -hmm. With Gillian? So me and, yes, Gillian Talforth. Um, me and Vic go back, we like that. Oh yeah, oh we honestly, like, like the history that. we've got is oh. just, yeah. You know? Not so, that, uh, no, no, but we're working on it. Yeah. Um, I want to wish you all in this world, in Victoria's world, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget to watch me on EastEnders. Yeah, some big things happening. Don't say anything. We know. I'll pay you later for that, Brian. Right, darling. This is not right, is it? That's not. Look, look how we make leaf effects. Andy's got this little thing, a little kind of, uh, what do you call it, yeah. template that goes over to look like leaves in a window. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to go a little bit behind the scenes for you there. I've just had a whole taxi ride where I could have filled you in on what I'm doing, but I've basically left the job you saw me filming at and now I'm heading out, or now I'm in central London, I've gone from west to central in an Uber and I've got an event for Claire Ford PR, um, I'm going to it, that starts at 7, it's 10 to 7 now, so I'm super late and I did my makeup in the taxi, so wish me luck. <laughs> Look, my first tree. There's a tree here at the Feather and Dining Van. It is decorated so beautifully. Look at this. I mean, like a rooftop, um, like a penthouse um, layer. <laughs> penthouse layer of a hotel. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's all been decorated. It's just so cosy. I'm so ready for Christmas now. Um, so, yeah, I'm here. I've got a 
Oh, champagne, champagne. I feel really lucky. I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone here. So I need to go and chat to some people, but I'm just so obsessed with smelling everything. And there's like Epsom salts and body soaks and moisturizers and hand creams and sleep sprays and they all smell amazing. So I, um, I'm going to go and smell them all right now. Morning, morning. Well, that event was really lovely last night, wasn't it? How lucky to be asked to go to that. I um, may have indulged a little bit in the free, I guess it was Prosecco, which was lovely. I haven't had a drink for a long time. And <clears throat> then ate every little canopy that was offered to me, which also was like what I shouldn't, we shouldn't, basically, I ate and drank everything I should in. Gave myself the most vicious heartburn I've had in a really long time. I was glugging from a Gaveston bottle, sitting upright, then had to drink loads of water to try and like, it was like it blocked into my, oh, oh my God, I was up till like two in the morning. I've had about four hours sleep. It's now, when I cross, is there a car coming down? Will this be the last thing I ever vlog? No. Um, oh my gosh, Christmas cups and Starbucks. Anyway, I, I woke up at really early and it's now seven, I'm just getting a coffee. Yes, bye. Morning, I'm here in the studio. So, let's get some slap on. I've got, obviously got some, I've got my eyebrows and some base on, but I want to get a little bit of something on my eyes just so I can cover up how rubbish I feel. Just something simple. I'm using my um, Teddy palette again, and I'm using this kind of mid, mid topi salmon. It's sort of a hot, it's actually quite close to orange. It's brilliant for a blue eye, absolutely brilliant for a blue eye. And for once, which is very unusual for me, I'm taking it all over the lid and then just using that colour to just draw that up to the top in like lovely buffing motions just to sort of have a little gentle wash of colour all over so there's no shimmer, there's nothing else going on but it's quite striking because of how bright that kind of salmon-y colour is let's have some breakfast together I'm starving I don't know why because I've been eating everything that's been available while we've been filming As soon as Ainsley, one of the guests cooks a recipe. I'm straight in there. I'm in there with the lads. I'm in there with the crew. Getting that down my gullet. But um, I've not been eating at night. So I've had quite a picked at things in the day. Not even had a full lunch. Let's get some flawless filter on. And then not at in the evening, so I think by the time I get here, even though it's still quite early, ooh, that's too dark for me. That was silly. I put on the colour. So that's 4.5. Way, 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 way too dark for me. All right with if you had a tan. Let's just get that blended in. Hopefully nobody will. Hopefully you won't tell anyone, will you? Very strange talking to yourself. Well, what should we do? Should we do a little bit of liner under my lids? I think that could be quite necessary. Let's do a brown liquid liner by Stila. I've actually got three Victoria Beckham coal satin gel liners, the really soft coal liners, in a <clears throat> ready, plump, ready, Color, ready sort of cranberry colour which is one of my favourites with blue eyes I've got a green I think perfect for um, brown eyes and, and the black because I was low in the black anyway and um, <clears throat> I'll keep the black for myself because it's got a little bit left but what, do I, what, do I, what am I looking for here what's going on should we just go in with a darker eyeshadow maybe instead the only thing with this pack, oh, it has got that sort of dark shimmer on, but let's, it's not quite dark enough. Let's grab a little bit of this Becca palette. Is Becca still around? I don't even know. I'm sure it's not around anymore. 
that, look at that lovely, um, all, what's it called, matte neutrals. What a great palette, especially for older eyes. Don't need all that shimmer sometimes. I don't know who I've got, I think I've got Nikki Chapman coming in today. Beautiful, beautiful Nikki. She always looks great, doesn't she? She doesn't seem to ever age either, which is bizarre. She has such a good career as well. That's a little bit better. I think we need some more mascara as well. Right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get on with eating this. Get ready for my first victim. Right, oh, we've started filming. I've gone and had my lunch early because I'm so hungry. We're just in a break between filming. And then we are gonna start going with Rav on his recipe with Ainsley. This is the cook's kitchen where all the home ex prep everything. It's absolutely, they've got, they work all day long doing all the recipes, getting all the ingredients together. It is full on and here we are in the studio. So we're ready to start here. Right, oh, we've started filming. I've gone and had my lunch early because I'm so hungry. We're just in a break between filming. And then we are going to start going with Rav on his recipe with Ainsley. This is the cook's kitchen where all the home ex prep everything. It's absolutely, they've got, they work all day long doing all the recipes, getting all the ingredients together. It is full on and here we are in the studio. So we're ready to start here. Katrina. Oh, hey. What's your role here? Well, I'm a talent booker. <laughs> what does that involve? Oh, if just booking the talent, you know. The likes of, the likes of Nikki Chapman. Uh, so you, how do you do that? You speak to their agents? Speak to their agents. There's this guy over there. Guy. Speak to their agents, see what they're about for free, if they're interested. And if they are, get them booked in. And then look after them on the day. And then argue about money. Argue about money for about four weeks. Then yeah. get them in. Have a lovely time. Yeah, have a I didn't manage to get a lot of content today, did I? I didn't really film much at all. I promise it's the first time meeting these people, you know, the guests that come on this show. And I just, I, I, it makes me want to eat my own hand, the thought of asking them if I could record me doing their makeup. And I know they'd probably be fine about it, but um, it's just really awkward and I'm not 21. But here we are. I want to make these videos and I want to show people what it's like behind the scenes, but I can't really, um, I can't really show anything. I can't get, I can't get a driver as well. I can't get an Uber or a Bolt. Which probably means I should just walk back, but, um, it's a 15 minute walk. I'm tired and I just want to go home. I'm really cold. I've just washed my brushes up, washed, uh, washed it, a uh, shirt that had a few stains on. So, I'm a little bit later leaving, it's still not that late, but um, I just want to get back. I don't want to get on the tube and bus. If it was just like the bus, the tube is literally outside my door. I wonder which way the other guys are going. I could jump in with them. 16 minutes away for a bolt. And Uber's just cancelled. I've had to research it again. Let me just check next one and see how if anyone could drop me maybe near the tube. Well, I didn't get a taxi. I couldn't get one for love or money. I found um, another way to go where there was a bus leaving in four minutes. Hang on my bags. And because I haven't got my kit with me, obviously I could absolutely run to get that bus. So I ran to get the bus but I was on the wrong side of the road. It's cheaper because bus stops are, even if they've got the same name and they're across the road from each other, they're not, they have um, like this. And you see at the top there, that says N. So even though it's got the same name as the bus stop across the road, that one will be like M and that one's N. And I, one was C and one was E and I thought I had to go to E and I had to go to C. It was really, really stupid. It was my, totally my mistake. So I, I ran out of breath. I was waiting there and the bus drove past me on the other side. Next one was in 15 minutes and it was raining. 
so I cried. I'm really, really cold and I cried in the rain. I didn't cry. I sniffled. I'm so annoyed with myself. I just wanted to go home and I still couldn't get an Uber or any kind of taxi. So I waited for the next bus and then got that bus across to Turnham Green, which is a district line tube train. And got off at Westminster and now got the bus home. So from Westminster to here. That's my story, it's not really interesting. But um, I can't believe how upset I was. That was really silly to be that upset. I was just so pissed off myself and I just so wanted to badly, so badly wanted to be home and all the rest of the crew left, um, all the rest of the crew left before me and I just wished I knew they were leaving because I would have got in one of their cars and at least got the lift to the station. Oh God, I could have crossed them this time. I was waiting for the lights to change. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to you. All right, anyway, I'm home. That's all there is to say, let's put this day to bed. I actually don't think I'm really gonna do any work when I get home either. I've got a few emails to get back to, but I'm not gonna like to start getting my laptop out and working. It's still quite early, I think it's about half seven. I've actually got Victoria Beckham makeup delivery that I bought, um, has been delivered to my house and has been left outside my front door. So it's about that's gone. I'll top off the day really well. I'm actually just gonna have a shower and wash my hair. I've got to do a little bit of prep for Saturday because Saturday is at a festival of remembrance. I wonder if I should do a whole separate vlog for that. Maybe I should. Anyway, if you don't hear from me again, hope you have a good night. Hope you're cosy. I'm gonna go in and get cosy and feel grateful for my little flat. Good night. Good morning. Just getting ready. It's gonna go dark. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, too dark. I haven't even pulled the curtains back. I feel like at the moment, You've cut, you, we're on the last day. I'm listening to Britney Spears' new book. Hang on, let me turn that off. I feel like at the moment, um, it's no point even pulling my curtains because I just wake up. It is like to be fair, but it's dark when I wake up. I get back when it's dark. <laughs> Why even go, because you're back at the house for like 12 hours. This is the last day. This is the last day of the vlog of this week. You're coming with me. <laughs> So, so far, I've got a bus from home to Elephant, I've got the Bakerloo from Elephant to Embankment, and then I change from Embankment to try and get on the district line to head towards Turnham Green, which is where I need to be for the last time filming the train today. Now approaching is um, to but the district line and Please the circle line that run on the same track edge. go to different destinations, and the one I need to get on is the, the Ealing Bordery, Bordery Band one. But the four trains, tubes below it, weren't going my way, so it was like an eight minute wait for my tube. So I just decided to go one stop from Embankment along to Westminster. So two stops, two stops get off and get a costa here to save time because I had seven minutes to kill and I knew there's a costa on the underground which is unusual to get a costa or a coffee shop like underground in the tube but I knew there is one here so I thought I'd come along and then I'll wait here and have a coffee so when I get off at Turner Green I have to get a coffee then because I can promise you I need it. I was up for hours last night just thinking about things. I had a really big invoice come in for my farm in Cornwall that I'm working on and it's scared me silly and really upset me. Um, it was a lot more than if I was quoted, it was very frustrating. Um, so I think I was thinking about that and I just didn't sleep because I, thought I was worrying too much. Anyway, so the Wimbledon train has just come in and the next train tube after this. You call it train, I mean tube, will be mine. Well, I've got the VB package that I ordered. It's finally come, so... Actually, when I say finally, it um, came really quickly. But I thought I would show you because I've got three eyeliners and I'm going to try and use all three of them and give you like a proper tutorial. Oh, I also bought another cheek balm. 
and I don't know why they all come with their own sharpeners and it's probably a little bit excessive and unnecessary but yeah I got the three eyeliners and I got the black because I've run out of that because and it's an absolutely the best black for Joel I've ever used and I've got Bordeaux which is a lovely red and olive nice green so I'm gonna make a video on this I've just done Ainsley coming from the makeup room across our balcony here look at the view we've got it's an old warehouse that we film in for this series and then we go into the kitchens where all the home ex make all the food and then through to the studio so Nikki, what is your job here um, I'm one of the home economists making all the here's one we did earlier <laughs> so you have to make versions of the cook that we film yes but only because time constraints so if yeah. you've got a pie that takes half an hour the camera's going to sit around waiting for the pie to cook yeah so, so it is all genuine recipes that we all like yes, Ainsley makes so just, but we just make doubles of them to kind of blue yes. peter style -y. yes just okay. because of uh, time constraints yeah yes. yeah so we can make a program don't run away. She's running. Lola's running away. <laughs> actually... Lola, Lola is our baking queen. She's our baking queen, but she's our hungover queen as well today. Let's go to the studio. Oh, it's busy in here. <laughs> Thank you. That's that's all right. All right. All right. All right. Oh God, I didn't mean to grab your boobs. Sorry. We've just fil finished filming part one. Cherie's gone, <clears throat> waiting for the next talent to come in. So it's lunchtime now. I'm just gonna grab a bit of salad we've ordered and I'm gonna iron Ainsley's shirt ready for the next episode. And I'm um, trying to avoid the rain for as long as possible because it's absolutely pouring outside. I, I of course didn't catch any of me packing up or sorting my kit out or getting everything. It was a bit of a rush to get out because I knew I had a car, but for the end of the day and the rain stopped, thank goodness. <sighs> That's it, that's a wrap on this. It's also a wrap on the vlog. I've had some really bad news today. I'm not going to tell you all about it, but I think it might bore you. So maybe I'll save it for another vlog and just keep this as the happy one it was. The one where I filmed with Ainsley Harriet for two weeks. What a blooming joy. Um, and with all the other guests as well. Um, well, my mind's all over the place. I hope my mind is actually spinning. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. See you next week. And hopefully it'll be a little bit more cheerful than this. Bye.